Hello? 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 Yes. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. Who's with me? Oh, Muhammad. How are you, Muhammad? So, fine. so what do you want to say to us, Muhammad? Why you are calling? Do you have something to say? Well, I just want to elaborate on Surah Fatir, which you're talking about. I don't hear you, Muhammad. Can you speak louder, please? <laughs> I just wanted to elaborate what mm. you're saying about, about Surah Fatir, mm. verse 1. Okay, go ahead. That, like uh, God <laughs> created the angels. Uh, with one, two, or three pairs of wings, mm -hmm. um, and the hadiths are saying that uh, Prophet saw Gabriel; mm. he had six hundred wings. Mm -hmm. uh, so here I can see that the Quran doesn't say that Allah created uh, angels with only one, two, or three pair. Mm. Can we? Mm. More, more than that, yes, mm. I just looked at Ibn Kathir and okay. he made the same argument that he's not talking about only more than that things can be created. Okay, so you, like you want me to go to Ibn Kathir, my friend? You want me to go to Ibn Kathir? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Remember that the tafsir is made to defend Islam, not to explain Islam. You know that, right? If you remember, I have a debate with Dr. Rahi. He is an imam from Azhar. When I mentioned to him the tafsir, he said tafsir is made to, to, to fix a problem. To fix yeah, a problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Uh, read with me, please. This is Ibn Kathir, and this is the correct translation. Okay. He says the angels messengers with wings two or three or four there is no pairs this is a lie in the translation do you see it there's no there's no pairs the word pairs in the in the in the uh, english translation is a fabrication all right read with me here carefully all right okay yeah I two or three two or three or three huh sorry my in my translation is, is Arabic. My friend, no my friend, I don't care for a translation. I speak Arabic, and if you have anyone who speak Arabic, it says "mathna wa thurth wa ruba." There's no pairs, and here you will see. This is Ibn Kathir saying, and okay. two or three or four means among them some who has who have two wings, some have three, and some have four. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. This is Ibn Kathir. So here, it's obviously it's a mistake. Yeah. Okay, it's a mistake. If the angels have only either uh, two wings or uh, uh, three or four, and by the way, how an angel can have four, three, uh, three wings? Yeah, he can have. How he can have three wings? What, where is that? Where is the third wing will be? On the back, maybe. Hmm. In the back. The angel have back three wings. wings. Not like the back or two hands. Maybe the maybe the wings. third maybe the third wing is his beer. Beer? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I'm trying to understand, my friend. It says the three wings. How the angel will have three wings? I mean, what even like it doesn't make sense. Oh. How he will have three wings? What is that? And have three wings, then how can Gabriel have six hundred? You see, huh? that, that's a what question. Okay, so how Muhammad he saw six hundred? If the Quran says, you see, I, 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 when I start reading, it says they are pairs. So I went even with the pair. Let us say it's pairs as the Muslim fabricate and you are a Muslim. They fabricate in their translation. If it's pair, that will be uh, uh, one pair, two pair, uh, sorry, uh, uh, two pair and three pair and four pair. So maximum, even if it's pair, is going to be eight. But here, as you see, the word pair is not even exist. This is the true, the, the 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 Arabic as it is. So the it, verse doesn't say only one, two, or three. It just randomly says, just like in the Gospels. You Matthew see, no. Says you see here, here the Muslims. So my friend, my friend, 
It says, and, and Allah, uh, Allah, he was eat, Allah, he was eat, Allah, he, he, he will make more. It's not about, it's not about the angels don't have, you know, the Muslim, they try to explain the Muhammad saying 600. So they say, and some, they have more wings. Some, no, you see, if, uh, let me ask you, what is the point of Allah saying the angels have two wings or three wings or four wings if there is angels have more? I mean, why is, why you are saying two and three? What the point if there is angels have 600? If there's angels have a 1000, what the point of saying to me? I mean, what, what, what you, what you inform me right now? Nothing. What the point of this verse? Nothing. And do you think, uh, you know, like God, He say nothing, meanless? Because this verse now is meanless. Because He said to us, angels have no, no, two and the three and four, and then he, and then the scholars they try to cover up with the mistake in the Quran. They say, oh no, no, it's, and it says it says, and He will create more. He create more of angels. Doesn't say about He is going to to increase the number of the wings. And and by the way, why the why the wings will increase the number? What what is the point? Is that will increase the speed? Maybe <laughs> kind of beautifulness. <laughs> See, you are laughing yourself. <laughs> he himself is laughing. What I can do, my friend, doesn't make sense. If the uh, uh, this, if God he created the angel right no, away, was, Gabriel is the Gabriel is the leader of the angels. So, oh, so you are saying it's like uh, the more angel, the more wings he have, the more like he is powerful. Leadership. Yeah, yeah, leader. Ah, it's like Plus, a rank, like a captain and general. And okay, I got it. Mm. Mm. My friend, well, this, did, you, did you see the hadith? Did, did you see the hadith? The one that says that he saw. Does it say there that he covered the horizon? Let me zoom in for you so you can read it. It says he filled the horizon. Okay. The question is, if Jibreel came to Muhammad. And he covered the horizon with 600 wings. How come nobody saw Jibreel in the horizon except Muhammad? Maybe it was just a private mission. Ah, this is a private like horizon. It. This is a private horizon. This is a private beach. <laughs> oh, when Prophet went to Miraj, uh -huh. no saw that. But he came to when him. He came to Mecca, to... my friend. He came to him into Mecca, right? He came to him in his house. He came and yeah. took him, supposedly. He came and took him, no problem. But he took him from where? He took him from his house, correct? Yeah. So imagine the president of America, uh, uh, Donald Trump, he stopped in the front of my house, and he have like 300 cars but the guard with him, and nobody saw him, not even one of my neighbor except me. That doesn't make sense. So how an angel this with that miracle. size? Well, you know, you Christians, Jews, Christians, Muslims, Hmm. Believe in miracles, supernatural. Oh, so you are saying this is a miracle that happen. Allah He don't want anyone to see the angel, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, okay. What about the donkey? He came. Uh, so. Why the angel? He came to to Muhammad with a with a with a like a, the burak, which is bigger than a donkey and smaller than uh, mule. What what is that for? Why he brought him that donkey, the white donkey? Why don't maybe prophet like? Or something. No, you see, Muhammad he went to where? Using that donkey. What destination he went to? Did he went to the sky? First, maybe Jerusalem. No, the Jerusalem in his way back, supposedly. First, he went to the sky. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Do the this donkey have wings? Um, I can't remember, maybe or maybe not. Okay, but you confirm that the angel have don't have wings, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the angel have wings. The donkey does not have wings. Now, how we can fly together to heaven with angel and donkey and Muhammad? Muhammad is in the top of the donkey. The donkey cannot fly. The angel can fly. What do you think? How what what happened? Do you think the angel was carrying Muhammad in the top of his donkey, or maybe an angel appeared as donkey? Ah, the really angel appeared as donkey. That's a good idea. That's I like that, guys. It's maybe the angel himself appeared as donkey. That is possible. <laughs> you're 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 fun. <laughs> Listen, my friend. Is 
when when uh, uh, the angel came to Muhammad, he have six hundred wings. And you are telling me, as I understand from you, that he have the wings because that will make him very fast. Like and he, there is ranks. He's very powerful. So like it's like six hundred six hundred engines. Like leadership. Leadership. Okay. So that will not change the speed. Speed. Hmm? No speed. Okay. Is nothing to do with speed because wings have nothing to do with speed. Ah, okay. So now, okay. Do you believe that Angel Gabriel appeared to Virgin Mary with 600 yeah. wings? No. No. It doesn't say that. Maybe he appeared. But you see, it, I, I, my problem, my problem is not the 600 wings. The problem is the Quran says that the angels are going to be uh, to, with, with two angels, no, two, two wings, three wings, and four wings. Only one. Huh? Quran doesn't say that only one, two, or three it can be more. Quran only says simply one, two, or three in just in a summarization. So well, the Quran, I, why the Quran mentioned to me that the angels have two and the three and four, but yet the, the angels come to us, none of them have, have that. Glorifying Allah. These verses just glorifying Allah in many sense. Like he, he's talking about the heavens, the earth, then the angels. Hmm. Then in the later, he's talking about the human embryology. Okay. So these verses talking about yeah but there is a mistake there you see there's a mistake let us let us go back here the angel with Jibreel so the angel Jibreel with Muhammad and we have a donkey which is white was the heaven and earth or it's in heaven in the sky the heaven of Islam where Muhammad is going now Prophet saw the heavens okay the hell, when you say the heaven where is that everything is that in up in the sky or this is in the earth uh, it's been i i read something like uh be, be, when above the throne of allah there is a planet or something there's what below that there's what upon the throne of allah star star or something i read star. Hmm. i think you read yeah this is from. led light hmm. so this out of the universe actually hmm out of the milky way or but, something but this okay so so oh, the heaven is there okay let me ask you if the wings the wings of the angels is not metaphorical they are real wings what the wings will do to yep. the angel flying in the space if they are not metaphorical you see uh, because i can show you even the christians they believe that angels they have wings no problem but I is it but is it something is it something about yep. wings they use really to fly with or this is an appearance as a proof of identity appearance. or something you know like appearance or a representative hmm. representative okay how muhammad now let us focus on this we have an angel have 600 wings we have a donkey does not have wings we have muhammad for sure he don't have wings and they are going to the seven heaven why muhammad when he came back he did not tell us what he saw in the space as an example Shouldn't Muhammad say, when I was in the space of flying with the donkey and the angel, I noticed that my shoes is flying in the space because there's no gravity? Shouldn't he say, I mean, imagine first time man, he go to the space. How much no, amazing the experience. Why Muhammad did not report to us any of this? What Muhammad report for us, my friend, hold on. What Muhammad report to us have nothing to do with the space. As an example, he arrived to a place and they knock at the door and that was the first heaven the ones before yep. behind the door they said who is this the angel Jibreel said it is me Jibreel the angel they said who is with you he said this is Muhammad the one behind the door he says was he cold Jibreel said yes he been required to come the angel they said he is welcome. What a biased prophet will come. And they open the door. Now, is that really heaven? Did you watch any uh, movie lately first, about about uh, about kingdoms and old days, how they have a door for the gate and they have guards and they ask you, who is this? I mean, those are angels of God. They are asking Jibreel, who are you? 
no this uh, this story is totally explaining us that uh, some type of judicial system like in the day of judgment there will be proper no 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 like, no this is about his a trip this is about no my friend no 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 this yeah, is yeah, this is this is this seven is heavens, my friend no 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 this is about a description how he went there don't tell me this is about the judgment day yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so no 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 yeah so he went there he went there and he found the gate correct and they knock at the door yeah. and then they ask him yeah, who yeah. is this who is with you all right okay now yeah. the story here reporting is supposed to things happen as it is it's not the metaphorical now if you yeah, say to me you said to me you said to me maybe Jibril, he have 600 wings because he is high rank right yeah okay imagine i don't know from which country you are let us say you're from pakistan and your and and the very famous man in Pakistan, he is the president. He is coming to your door, and you say to him, "Who are you?" You know, I mean, isn't it weird that the angels could not recognize Jibril, and they are asking him, "Who is he? Who are you?" Read with me. I was brought a white beast, and he have to be white. He can't be black because black are not allowed to enter the heaven. Called Al Burak, bigger than a donkey and smaller than a mule. It is stride was as long as I could reach. If 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 why is so big? This is the biggest limousine ever. Do, do you see? Do you see how he just said it's bigger than a donkey, and it's smaller than a mule, and then he said its stride was long as the eye could reach. Man, that's really a big, big, big step. I was mounted in it. So this is mean. Jibril, he carried Muhammad. He put him in the top of the donkey, and when and then we went forth. Till we reach the lowest heaven. Okay, he is now in the front of the lowest heaven. Gabriel said, For the gate to be open, open the door. And he was asked, Who is he? <laughs> he said, Gabriel. <laughs> My friend, maybe if Gabriel is the highest, if Gabriel, according to Islam, is the highest, highest angel, how his soldiers did not notice that this is Gabriel. Maybe Gabriel appeared in a different form. Oh, maybe he appeared as a chicken this time. Maybe he appeared maybe. as a chicken. My friend, it says Jibreel. In what uh, different form? Uh, no. He came if, to him. If you do not go with, my, if you do not go with uh, the my interpretation, then this uh, it doesn't make any sense because uh, Gabriel had to be like in another form. Mm. Otherwise, why? And angels recognize them. okay let me ask you if I go right now and put some uh, Halloween makeup on my face the angels will not recognize me <laughs> no see no, so, so, so Jibreel Jibreel is an angel or maybe, I mean hold, hold on hold on, hold on. Maybe, Muhammad Muhammad I like you you're a nice guy you're a nice guy first of all welcome and I'm glad you called me listen angel angel of God he is not the same as you and me. Do you agree? He have a superpower. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. today we have a fingerprint. We have a, a, a face recognition software. And you walk in the airport, they know who you are. Just the camera is it take your your face right away. In a second, they get all the information about you. So, do you think angels they will not be able to recognize that this is Jibreel? And who is the one can even get a clue to the door of heaven? I mean, is that like possible? Is that like a, some is is that like a door in a stop on the street and the bus? There's a bus next to it where people walk by. There's nobody go there. So what what in the world this question is about? Jibril is being questioned. Who are you? Do do they have a visitor every day come in and ask and open yeah, the yeah. door? Yeah, I got that answer. The answer is the door was closed actually. Ah, the door was closed. We know that the door was closed. That's why they are he was asking to open the door, my friend. You are not being smart now. Come on. He, he said to them, open the door. All right. They said, who is this? Okay. So you are saying if the door is closed, the angels cannot see through. Yeah, yeah. Ah, this is a bulletproof door. Very thick. <laughs> Made it from uranium, maybe. Yeah. So, so you know another story that if you die, your soul goes to that door and... If you are not a Muslim, mm. then you will be thrown into no, the my friend, fire. All those stories are fabrication because because what what soul will go to that door if you are going to be tortured in the grave? Your soul and your body is still there. Muslims don't believe that the soul will go somewhere. This is why two angels will come to you in the grave and they will ask you three questions. 
Munkar Nakir will Munkar come. Wanakir, yes, Munkar Wanakir. If we go to the story about Munkar Wanakir, we will find another another uh, funny story coming from Muhammad. It's proving to us that he is a truly prophet. According to your prophet. Don't you believe in grave, uh, I mean, punishment, grave punishment? My friend, I, this is between me and you on YouTube and Facebook, you know. I did pay the two angels who will investigate me when I go to the grave. So they will ask me a nice questions. Let me tell you, I don't fear. Let us say the story Muhammad he said about two angels who they are black angels. Now, why they are black angels? Do you know why they are black? They are representing some fear. No, because they are evil angels. They are made to be evil. They are not nice. It's so terrifying, actually. Okay, it says in the front of you. Okay, here we go. The Messenger of Allah said, When a deceased, or he said, When one of you is buried, two angels, black and blue eyed. <laughs> That's a good competition. Okay, black and blue eyed will come to him. One of them is called Al Munkar, and the other one is called Al Nakir. They said, what do you use to say about this man? About what? About this man. What man? So he say, he was saying before death, he is Allah's slave. And his yeah. messenger. I testified that there is none has a right to worship, but Allah and Muhammad and his slave. And his messenger okay so now the the other angel he told him this guy he used to say that allah is god and muhammad he say shahada okay so now what will happen uh we know that you would say this and then the, this grave will expand to 70 by 70 cubit good news for my friend your grave will be really big it's not like a small tiny grave it's going to expand because you are a person who says shahada then it's eliminated for him my friend you will have an led light in your grave then it said <laughs> to him sleep so he said can i return to my family brother to inform them inform them about what that i got led tv led light i have a big grave they say no 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 <laughs> you cannot go back they say sleep as a new will whom none awakens but the desert of his family until Allah resurrect him, arrest him. Okay. This is for the Muslim. So the Muslim will have LED light in his grave, will have a big grave. Okay. This hadith, the main point of this hadith that established monotheism. Like this. Or, or, okay, what monotheism? It's a, it's a fiction story. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us continue. And then, right. and then, Christians hold on, 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 hold on. And he's then, then an, a guy who is not a Muslim, he come. Supposedly he's a hypocrite. Yeah. He would say, I heard people saying something, so I said same. They're asking the same question. What do you say about Allah, about Muhammad? I do not know. They said, they say to him, you, we know that you said that. So the earth is told to constrict him. The earth will start pressuring him. So it's constrict around him, squeezing his ribs together. And he can can you be punished like that until Allah resurrection? Do you agree with this story? Yeah. Okay. I have. To. But how you are dead and you are being punished now? Your soul are being punished. Huh? You are dead. Your soul. What soul? There is no soul. If you have, a, if you have a soul in you, my friend, my friend, if you have a soul, if you have a soul, yeah. then, then you are not dead. I'm dead physically, but my soul is eternal. My soul is not dead. My friend, is your soul with you when you die, or the soul is not there? So my when I die, it means that my earthly earthly life is in an end. But what? Um, my earthly you are dead. Life, you are dead. You are dead. Is your soul still inside your body or not? Uh, yeah. Really. Soul, soul, no. Soul goes out, but then okay. comes. So, back what the point? If, okay, you are, you are. Uh, have you ever heard? So now, if somebody is dead, and I shoot him, he would feel pain. 
No. Okay, so why the story here is speaking about torturing a guy he is dead in the grave? Actually, uh, in, diff in different uh, hadith, in different hadith, it says uh, that the angel, you, the angel will hit you, uh, uh, the angels will hit you on your head with the hammer. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, the angels will hit you with uh, by a hammer in your head, but as we know that you will not keep having your. I mean, uh, you can open a grave of somebody from the time of the Pharaoh, and we will find that nothing happened to their body, and they are not Muslims. Why the angel did not break their head? Because hmm? maybe some exceptions. Or maybe because they are rich. No. Well, so I'm why? Zero. Okay. So why those people? Easy. Their body is preserved, and nobody is hitting their so, head. About so torturing because many we have we many they do not have proper burial. They die in drowning or in burn. Hmm. So. Yeah, but uh, but the story of the angels. Actually, if the angels the angels the hitting you. Actually talks about my friend. Proper burial. The story of the angels beating you with the hammer is it a true story or it's a fiction? Yeah, obviously, I have to believe this what? because Jesus is near me. Sai Bukhari, Siha Sitta. Every hadith comes from Siha Sitta. Muslims have to believe. This is not the story. This is, this is not the question, my friend. I'm asking you now. Is the story? Is the story? Is the story correct? In Islam theology, this story does make sense, but I believe I am a little bit skeptic about this. Type of things, but uh, I am searching, but it's so embarrassing. This. I understand. I'm asking you is the story of beating you with the hammer is it a true story? You believe in it? They will ask no, you three questions. Prove that story, huh? beating angel. We do not have any proof like. Anyone is beaten in the grave, but this is what the hadith says. says. This is what the hadith says, right? Oh, yeah, the hadith says. Okay, so is your prophet lying? No. Okay. He's so not lying. let me let me find you the hadith in Arab in English, so we can read together. I'm trying to find it in here, uh, you know, because Muslims they try to hide those funny hadith. Let's see if we can find it. All right. Read with me, please. I hope the text is coming clear. The prophet no, said, you know hold on, hold on. Yeah. When a human being is laid in his grave and his companion return and his uh, he, he even hears their footsteps. So now you are in the grave, but you can hear. Do you believe in that? I I was I was what trying to tell this hadith that. He can hear the footsteps. Okay, you can hear. Okay, that's wonderful, guys. So you are dead. Muslims believe that you are dead, but you can hear. So, guys, I have a news for you. I want you to tell your family to subscribe to the internet in your grave and keep your my channel open because you will be able to hear me. So you have to believe in supernatural things. My friend, it's not the problem now, but you confirm to us that you are in the grave and you can hear, no problem. So every one of you here, guys, please don't forget to take a modem to your grave and keep YouTube channel of Arabian Prophet open because you will be able to attend my live broadcast even when you are dead. I will give you dead time subscription, no, dead no, life, no, lifetime yeah. dead subscription. I mean, I mean, this is... Um, <laughs> lifetime dead subscription that's wonderful okay so he's dead and he can hear us that's wonderful okay now the prophet said when a human being laid in his grave and his companion returned he even hears their footsteps two angels will come to him to what two angels will come to him okay and make him sit and ask him i mean look at this this is like fbi sit sit down please please don't sit down and what do you say what do you use to say about this man about who Muhammad yeah the whole investigation is about Muhammad he will say I testify that he is Allah slave and he is apostle okay then the story continue then it will be said to him look at your place in the hellfire Allah has given you a place 
in paradise instead of it if, 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 if just because he said Allah Muhammad is apostle that's amazing the Prophet added a dead then the dead person will see both his places but a non-believer okay what will happen to them believer this is a Christian Prince or a hypocrite that is you my friend will say to the angels I do not know but I used to say that the people used to say so don't tell me people they said to me Muhammad is not a prophet I mean don't blame me I used to say what people say Christian Prince he said that to me it's not my fault so look what they will say to him it will be said to him neither did you know nor did you take the guidance by reciting the Quran then he will be hit with an iron hammer between his eye his ears Oof. No, is you can't doubt because these are irre irrelevant. The Quran talks about Big Bang, so you have to believe all the books. Big, what, what, hold on, let us let us focus on the Big Bang. What Big Bang? Listen, the angels will beat you with the hammer between your two ears. Angels won't beat me. No, uh -huh. what? They will beat you. Angels. Won't. Why? Okay, why? I believe this. But you are dead. How the angels will beat you, and you are dead. <clears throat> Allah will make you alive again. Oh, so, so we are we are alive, dead. This, so you believe in zombie? Are we dead? Yeah. Are we dead? Matthew also believed in zombie because Matthew chapter twenty-seven, verse fifty-one, maybe talks about when Jesus died on the cross. Many mm. deadly saints. Yeah, but those raised. are not zombies. You see what you know. You know what zombie is? Zombie people who they are dead and they are walking between us. What what the Matthew yeah. speaking of? No, no, yeah. no, no, no. The, uh, the what yeah. Matthew speak? No, no, no. Hold on. What Matthew speaking about? That those people are brought back to life. They are alive and they go to heaven. They are not staying on earth. They are resurrected. So. It's not about you being dead and walking between us. Those are alive. Those are those are alive, alive again, my friend. Don't mix things up. Here you are dead in the grave. You are not. You cannot even walk. Can you walk? Can you walk? Can you walk? Can you walk? Can you can you walk? But you can talk, but you cannot walk, right? Okay. They. If you say that those saints were resurrected, then Paul was wrong because Paul said Jesus was the first fruit. And there is a contradiction. My, my friend, Jesus is the first in everything. When Jesus was resurrected, it says that all of them yeah, resurrected with the him. Yeah, fruit of the resurrection. My friend, my friend, when Jesus was resurrected, they are resurrected with him. No, no, no. Say, saints were resurrected when Jesus died on the cross, not at the Easter. My, Sunday. my friend, they are by which means by his by his death, we are all resurrected. Not only those people, all of us, we are promised resurrection. It's they, a new life. They were resurrected. My from friend, the my day. friend, my friend, don't ex don't explain to me my Bible. Don't explain to me my Bible. You do not know my book. All of us, all of us. Listen, listen. All the Christian believe, but by by the death of Jesus, Abdul. Listen, listen. By the death of Jesus, my friend, my friend. Go, go read it. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay. What what verse you are reading? Go ahead. Can I read? Go ahead. But what, what verse you are reading? A Matthew chapter twenty-seven. Look at my Chapter yes. what? Matthew chapter twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. 27. 27. Go, ahead. Go ahead. At that moment, the at that moment the curtain of the temple was torn into two from the top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks split, and the tombs of tombs broke open the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life hmm. they came out of the tombs after jesus resurrection and went in the holy city and appeared hmm. to many people you see this verse when the curtain was torn into two when the curtain was torn into two you see when jesus was on the cross hmm. and the verse literally says that the the holy saints they were alive out of the graves I know you do make fun of this, like uh, this should be the good news on the newspaper on first century. My, my, my friend, my friend, those people, they are resurrected by what? By who? And how? Before Jesus, obviously. Before Allah, what? God before of, what? Before what? Before, before what? Obviously, before the Easter Sunday, the Paul was talking yeah, about by, by his death, by his death, when he by, because he because of this occasion, there's many people they are resurrected. In the top of that, 
all of those who they are resurrected when he went in the Easter or let us say in the Easter day all of them they went to the city and they were attended and they've been proving themselves to be which means there's many witnesses for those people who resurrected from death including Jesus himself Jesus when he when he was when he was erected he went to the city he went to the city my friend my friend, my friend. it says it says read with me carefully you are, you are you are just quoting what you like in verse number 51 it says and after Jesus he resurrected those bodies oh, no. came Keep from came came from the came from their grave. Does it say that? Does it say that? Does it say that? That when 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 Jesus was resurrected, those bodies came yeah. from the graves. Okay. So what the problem yeah. with you you have now? My problem is verse fifty one and fifty two, not fifty three. I did not talk about fifty three. Uh, um, when uh, the my, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, you you are saying the problem is fifty one and fifty two. Yeah. Okay. What What is the problem? You look in fifty one that at that moment the curtain of the temple was. You see, you see, my friend. You, in order, in order, you see that the same. You see, it's not like a different chapter. Is the same chapter explained itself. So when when no. my hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When the Messiah was in the cross, there's an event happened, yeah. and the earth shake and rocks destroyed and etc. and graves were open and yeah, many yeah. and many bodies of those who did die they came alive right okay right. and, and then 53 okay and then it says okay yeah they, they but they, they are the they are not they are alive they are alive but they did not go out of the grave if you see here in the verse number 53 yeah. it says and they after he uh, hold on and after they he is dead. resurrected after he's resurrected they came from the grave and they walked to prove themselves so they they, yeah. they are they are alive they by the dead. power of Jesus, they but you see alive. those but those people are alive, they are not they are not zombie, they are not dead. They were dead, obviously. No, they were who had died. okay. You see, were, you see, you see, you see okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, died. hold on. What we are talking about, we are talking about people who they are dead in the hadith and they are not alive, correct? No, so they are alive. No, 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 they, they are not, they are died. dead, they are dead. No, they are dead, they are dead, they are dead. Don't 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 play they're, games. The hadith is speaking are, about people who they are dead. My, my friend, dead. here the verse you are quoting from me from Matthew, the verse you are quoting for me from Matthew, they are people who they are resurrected, which means they are not they are alive, they are not dead no more. They are in the grave, but they are if alive. If they are resurrected, then there is a contradiction because Paul no. clearly says Jesus Christ is the first fruit of the resurrection. But Matthew says, My friend, because we Jesus hold on, hold on, hold on. God. Yes, this is metaphorical that Jesus is the first fruit, which means every every resurrection is by him because the Bible believes that everything is created by him first. and for him. So Jesus is the first of everything. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the first. I am the last. So which means there's no there, there's no resurrection but by him. Yeah, no, no, Paul is saying Jesus Christ is the first because Jesus is the one who was the first in the resurrection place. My and friend, Jesus my friend, took just to show you that you are ignorant, isn't it Jesus who resurrected people during his time when he was uh, before the crucifixion? He did, right? He did. Yeah, he, he, but that's, no. That's so he resurrected people already from the grave, and it happened that people are resurrected from the grave already. So this is he, he's not he's not mean the first one to be resurrected in the whole world. No. He's saying he's the first, the first who proved the power of God that he can resurrect. He is the one. First of the those who have fallen asleep. My friend, what were fallen asleep? First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 20. Yeah, read. It says, But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Yeah. Because this is the the promise, the promise of you, you will be resurrected is by Christ. So by Christ, all of those are going to be resurrected. You're you're taking the story of Lazarus, Martha. My friend, my friend, you see, yeah. you are the one. You are the one who is, is is playing games. I am the one who told you that isn't it Jesus who resurrected people from the grave before his crucifixion? Okay, so it's the same, my friend. Hold on, hold on. You see, you want to you want to play game. You want to play game. Listen, listen, listen. The Bible is is a is a book of metaphor, not only about dates and time. So every human being is resurrected by Jesus. Every human being, nobody is not resurrected by Jesus. So the Bible confirmed that you, nobody, do nobody. Do you know the difference between? Do you know the difference between resurrection and resuscitation in Christian theology? Explain to me. Go ahead. 
because in the Christian theology, you can ask any Christian apologist that hmm. the resurrection is by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the first who was raised. And hmm. resuscitation means that those people Jesus raised from the dead, they died again. This is resuscitation because they cannot raise from before Jesus. This is a total contradiction of the my friend. No, no, this is not a contradiction. This is an opinion of some people. Whatever they want to say, they can say. But this is not. You they, can no, ask no, no, no. I, I don't care about asking. Why I want to ask, my friend? Why I want to ask? I don't know my belief. So the Bible is so clear. If, if if the Bible says they are resurrected, they are resurrected. Unless the Bible says they die again. Do you have a verse that says they die again? Those those people those people who you they said they said that to you, did they provide you with the verse saying that they die again? They had to die again because unless this is a no 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 don't tell me you have to die, die again no this is not a contradiction no. this, okay you see you are again you are playing games this is not a contradiction this is not a contradiction this is not a contradiction those people who resurrected with Jesus they are resurrected by Jesus still because this is not about because you see. For us, when we speak about resurrection of Jesus, we are st speaking about resurrection of the body. God never died. Nobody, no Christian, no. believe that God is dead. God is always alive. So the flesh of the man. You believe that? Hold Jesus on. Died. Yes, hold believe on. Jesus we don't died. believe. No, we believe that the, the flesh of Jesus died. Yes, but God never died. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the body. The, hold on. Jesus hold died. on. Hold on. The body of the human died. They were able to kill yeah, the body. Yeah, that's I'm. I'm trying to say that the bodies of human die in the Islamic theology and in the Christian theology. This is a mutual understanding. Yeah, but you are mixing things up. You are mixing things up. You are mixing between here. We have a we have a, a person yes. in the grave. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In Christianity, we don't believe that a human being is in the grave and you can talk to him and you can question him and you can ask him questions and he can hear you. That is a lie. That is a lie. He, uh, hold on, hold on, hold it here. Here, when they are torturing, hold on. When they are torturing the man with the hammer, are they torturing the man and his spirit with him, or the spirit is not there? Spirit, no, no, spirit goes back to our God. okay. So, thank you very much. The resurrection of Christianity is resurrect, which means reunite the body with the spirit, correct. Yeah. Okay. Here, here, that, here. There's a there's a body. Here, here. There's a talking body. He's a dead. He have no spirit. That's why I said zombie. The 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 Bible speak about resurrection of people who they are resurrected, which means they are unite with their spirit. It's not it's not a dead body walking in the street and they are zombie. They are really alive like me and you because we have the spirit united with the body. When your soul separate from your body, you are a dead body. Here we have a person in the grave. He have no soul. Within his body, yeah, yeah, he had he has soul. Where Obviously, you get this from? Where do you get this from? Where you get this from? From the hadith, because he's okay. He's told, he, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, can you quote for me the hadith speaking about the soul? <clears throat> hadith doesn't explicitly say so. Where do you get this from? You, when, you, when you say something to me, you see, so you have you have to you prove it to me. A, you can't punish a putrefied or decomposed body, the body is nothing, my friend. <laughs> And you are only talking my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say something to me, don't give me your mythology, give me Islamic mythology, and don't give me a Christian mythology which you don't understand. Trying to explain by you by the, by the way you want. I'm asking you now, I'm asking you now, where you got where you got the answer that the spirit of the man stay in his body when he's dead in Islam. The spirit of the man goes back to God. Okay, I just asked you a second ago, I just asked you. Is he this guy? Is he this guy? He is in the grave. Do he have a soul with him? Yeah, yeah. He have a soul with him. How? You just said it goes to God. The spirit goes to God, not the soul. Ah, so the spirit and soul? What does that mean? Spirit is from God. My friend. And soul is. Like, what do you mean, spirit from God? Where, where are you? Where are you learn this from? So don't you believe body soul in history uh, my friend my friend your soul is the spirit what soul there's no different soul when we we can make a difference if we're talking about uh, like uh, 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 something unique as an example we say the Holy Spirit huh but we are talking about the soul of a human being that is the only spirit he have the spirit of life which we call it soul so I'm what? asking you now I'm asking you 
do a human being have are you I'm, saying are you saying a human being he have soul and spirit in the same time yeah obviously where do you get this from where do you get this from where do you get this from where 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 you get this from where you get this from yeah obviously from islamic theology where 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 when you say my friend my friend when you say to me Infinity. You say to Infinity. me when you say to me when you say to me why you want to go into the Trinity? Look what you are talking about. Who's talking about? Where in Islam it says that you have a spirit and you have a soul? You have two things, spirit and soul. Where it gets from? From Islamic theology. Where? 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 Let me answer from Islamic theology, but taken from Kitab al -Muqaddas. Where? Don't tell me Islamic mythology taken from the, the Islamic mythology taken from the Christian and the Christian they believe that you have a spirit and you have a soul in the same time. You have two. Yeah, you Christians believe that. You where, where you, okay, show me where, where we got this from. That we have a spirit and we have a soul in the same time. They have two things. If you do not believe that you have a my friend, don't tell me if you don't believe that. Show me where because you are saying things with, with no proof. You would be called a heretic, my friend. My friend, you see, you are the heretic, you are the one who is making things up. You are saying to you, me you things can you cannot prove. Can you prove? Can you prove to me? Can you prove to me that a human being he have a spirit and he have a soul? There are two things in him. Can you, then can you prove to me? Can you prove to me human beings have a soul now? If I want to prove because you can prove supernatural things now i can ask you return you see return let me let me show you how ignorant you are when we speak about can you prove to me i mean can you show me from your books it's not about you me i'm showing you a soul where in your book it teach that you have a spirit and you have a soul i told you that i can't and now exactly okay code you said you know but I'm you said from a christian mythology okay where in the christian teaching that we have a spirit and we have a soul we have two things which mean now we have a three we have a spirit, we have a soul, and we have a body. Can you show me? What? Huh? Theology. No, it's obviously Christian theology. Now you have to you show it to me. It's Don't it's tell me it's a Christian theology. You have to. You have to show it to me. <laughs> you have to show it to me. You cannot uh, throw words in, in the space and you say this okay, is how it is. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. Okay. If you want, like explicit term mentioned in the Bible that humans have body, soul, and spirit, I have to get this to these verse. Then uh, you can make any type of claim. Like where is incarnation? <laughs> and where is finity? Okay, let's go so back. Let's go. Let's that... go back. You see, you 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 went in a circle to avoid okay. speaking about your your funny prophet making a fiction story okay. that Listen. two angels they will beat you and they will torture you in the grave, but yet you are dead. You and you could not explain and you could not and you could not explain has, no you could not explain you, you let, me, let me ask you where, where can, muhammad he learned can, let me ask you let me ask you where muhammad he learned that you will be punished in the grave from who from god obviously. where god he said that to him in front of this hadith where you're seeing that your hadith hmm. Muslims or Christians, Jews, everyone will be punished. Now, Hindus will be punished too, but uh, mm. they do not have any burial system. They burn their dead, mm. dead bodies. Mm. So, okay, let me ask Hindus you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. What is the per what is the reason for you to be tortured based on this story? Money. What is the reason to be tortured? tortured? Why why you will be tortured in this story? Because you did not say shahada, right? Yeah. Okay, how then Muhammad he say in different hadith that the angels will torture you because you piss on yeah, your skin? You from for huh? shahada, for, no, uh, piss, 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 piss. You know what piss? He claim that the angels will torture you because you piss. So which one is lying? No, both are correct. Huh? Read, read with me carefully. You can have read, can have read, both read carefully with me, my friend. Read carefully with me. The messenger of Allah said, "The most of torment of the grave is because of urine." Oh, this is talking about kulub. You know kulub. What is kulub? What is that? This is Arabic, supposedly. 
Yeah, you have to wash after urination. Okay. In private part. So, and and the angels will torture you in the grave because you have some urine in your foot when you did uh, a piss. This is yeah. This hadith is just elaborating, like hmm. avoiding this. Type. So why the other one saying that they will torture you? So now we have many reasons for torture in the grave. Oh, you have they oh, they will have a, they will have a book with them. They will have a book with them. They will say to him in the day of etc. You did piss and you the piss he hit the urine hit your foot. So we will torture you now. Why? Like you had, you will be tortured for lying then. No, Robbery. here it says you will he said read with me carefully the most of torment in the grave is because of urine the most of it the most. Okay, so, he, so talking about what is the logic? What is the logic? Why the angels why the angels will torture you just because you did piss? Not just because this is a one type of grievous uh, but it says the most well, give me the reason the most of the oh, torture in the grave is I'm going giving, to be my friend okay, giving, I am asking you, you why why yeah. why? What is what is the purpose of this storm? I mean, why? What the guy he did? He just pissed. It, okay, this ties to this piece ties to your salah and reading, reciting the Quran. Because if you okay, are you again, saying to me? Are you saying to me that this is a sin in Islam? Yeah, obviously, because if you piss, you can't. Uh, why Allah? Okay, is, isn't it Allah? He made. Uh, isn't it Allah? He made you. Isn't it Allah? He made you in a certain way. So if you piss, it might you know hit the ground and come back to you, especially in the old days. Where is the sin in that? Did Allah? Yeah, did Allah give you a penis like like uh, like uh, like the mouth of an elephant, so you can uh, leak your uh, your piss far away from your body? You cannot. Yeah, you can wash this. Okay, no, it doesn't it's say not. if you watch or not. Even if you wash it, it's even it's even if you wash it, still they will torture you. Who said if you wash it, it will, they will torture you? No, no, if no, no, if you have to wash it. No, my friend, my friend, read with me. Read with me. Here we go. No. Muhammad, he no. Muhammad, he learned from the Jews, a Jewish woman. She said to him that if the pain, if if the if the if the urine touch our skin, we cut our skin. We don't wash it. We cut it. Yeah. So, so in order, so in order to get rid of it, you have to cut your skin. Yeah. So what is? So what you are saying to me? We wash it. Now you have to cut it, but after that, after this, you have to also wash it because this is in. Let our me ask you: You culture. Muslims, well, you Muslims, when when a sperm, when 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 a, when a urine touch your skin, you cut your skin, you take it off. No. So why Muhammad adopting this idea? Like this cutting thing, not adopting. This is taken from God. What I God? Where is God? He so said to them, a Jewish woman, a Jewish woman, she did a Jewish woman. A, Muhammad is a thief. A Jewish woman. She said that idea to him. He liked it. He adopted. Otherwise, it proved to me where Muhammad gets from. Maybe God sent that Jewish woman. To our prophet hmm. read with me carefully Aisha she report that Muhammad before that day he never ever yeah, ever said anything about the punishment of the grave why because they, this revelation did not come simultaneously you know the revelation was coming like time by time not simultaneously so the what type of question is this? My friend, Christians my friend, the story in front of you, it says because of a Jewish woman, she came to, to Aisha and she speak, she spoke about the grave punishment. Uh, Aisha, she never that ahead before. She even she accused her to be a liar. She said, what? no, I told you. She, she said to her, read with me, read with me, read with me. Aisha, why Aisha? She said to Muhammad, you are lying yeah. when she mentioned that you are lying. So Aisha, obviously, she never heard Muhammad saying that. So why Muhammad never received this revelation until this Jewish woman? He just entered, you know, he saw them in the in the yard. He asked Aisha, why you are screaming with this woman? She said, she said to me this. He said, oh, okay, this is true. Where is the revelation? When the revelation came? I told you now that God may be sent this Jewish woman. This is tight. Oh, uh, so the I revelation came in from the God. Jewish woman. You agree. So God is the one who sent this so woman, and she is the one who gave the revelation to Muhammad. And look what it says here. I, after I after, after Muhammad have this conversation, it said Aisha, she said he never, never even pray once after that day. He never offer any prayer without saying, 
you know I seek refuge by Allah from the punishment of the grave so Muhammad yeah the, that's why I am talking about the peace connects with prayer because uh, if you peace you can't pray your prayer will not won't be accepted so this is the most common Abdul what does have to do with the prayer listen carefully after this Jewish woman she mentioned that and Muhammad he agree with her Muhammad never pray without saying I seek refuge by Allah from the punishment of the grave why Muhammad did yeah, not say that before the Jewish women spoke in his courtyard? Because God sent the Jewish women. So the Jewish women is Jibreel with the 600 wings. Oh, oh no. What well, you are saying to me that the revelation came from this woman, not from Allah. Not yeah, from Allah, but Allah sent because okay. you know. In so you, you are admitting that Muhammad, Muhammad, he, he learned this revelation from the Jewish women. So obviously, before before Islam, Judaism was the only monotheist religion. Before Islam, this is not so the question. Not? This is not the question. You are saying to me, obviously, Allah He sent this woman to bring Muhammad the revelation. So this woman, she is an she is a female. Not, she's a female angel. The Quran. You you can you know that Jews and Christians have a part in revelation uh, regarding our revelation in Surah Yunus 94 that Allah is saying if you have doubt in your heart about this book then ask those who read before and this is a contradiction because the Christian refused refused Muhammad so how you can ask them about Muhammad when they refuse him already he's ask he's talking about this revelation this Quran <laughs> okay my friend let's, Quran let's focus here let's focus here. Allah he sent this woman according to you and because of this woman Muhammad he got the revelation he got it from who from the women or from the angel from Allah where through women. How? where oh. so Allah guys did you hear this from Allah through this woman from Allah yeah through this woman Why so not? so the first through one who received the, the first one who received this revelation it was this woman why not you can see this in Christianity too. okay hold on hold on yeah in Christianity I know I know there, hold on hold Christianity. on don't change topic in Christianity yes it says that we can prophesy God he can use us no problem but here this is a problem in Islam because you Muslim you claim that Muhammad he was the only messenger in his time yeah only messenger we do not say that that Jewish woman was a messenger we do not what say what that Jewish, we do not say that that Jewish woman was a messenger of God. We say so. That, so, but she received revelation, and she gave a message. Why not? In Christianity, too, you adopt things like in Jude. If you read the book of Jude, Jude quoted several apocryphal books that do not exist in this generation in the Bible. So, so that, what does have to do with our topic? You have to throw out the book of Jude. My because friend, my friend, my friend, why are you changing the topic? We no. throw, we throw whatever. This is a, this I'm is a, this is a proof. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we, I'm we refuse, we refuse, we refuse. This, this is mean that all of Islam is a lie because if the Christian they accept anything, any garbage, then why they would refuse bad books? No, I, no, I do not believe that Christians accept any garbage. I'm saying that. Okay, God so I'm asking you now. I'm asking you where, where you got this, this, uh, this explanation that your God Allah He sent this woman. To bring revelation to Muhammad and what that would make her angel that will make her a messenger what will make her you have to you have to look at the Jewish women mm. that has a simultaneous you have a connection between Surah Yunus 94 and this verse obviously that makes sense because we believe that God can use anything like in Christianity too if you reject this this type of revelation then you have to throw out the book of Jude my friend my friend hold on what the book of Jude? What are you talking about? <laughs> look, where, guys, look what we are, where we are, and look what his guy is talking about. What this have to do with what we are saying? How the women? How the women? How the women? Okay, so what? So what is the job of Jibril? What is the job in Christianity? In Christianity, we have women. They, they prophesy. We have women. They are judges. We have women. They save Israel. We have women. We hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I know prophecy. So, so now, so now, this woman here, she prophesied, or she gave a message from Allah. She gave a message from Allah. Is that she making her a messenger? Because the one who gave a message is a, he's a messenger. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. So now we have two messenger. We have Muhammad and this Jewish woman. No, no. You know the word Mussolin and the word Navi. Navi is explicitly. My friend, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
the one who says something nobody knows he is a messenger and he's a hold on hold on if I say something God told me to you yep. hold on don't talk hold on hold your horses if I say something to you God told me does that make me only a messenger or a prophet God told no problem this is not a question you see always this is a problem when I ask you a question you talk about something else when I say to you God told me that the punishment of the grave most of it is it from the urine is that a message you know yourself already or I just told you that no you just told me okay is, is that told about the pro the, the, the future or this is about something will happen now is it about the unseen or it's about something seen Unseen. Okay, that will make her profit, my friend. She just told you. She just told you. She just told you something is unseen, unknown, unseen, unknown. That's mean you Muslims. You have two prophets. Hold on. That's mean you have two prophets, Muhammad and this woman. We can misinterpret that because in <laughs> in our own Quran we have the two separate word, Mursalin and Navi. Mursalin can be used for apostle Sahaba. My friend, so my friend, that is stupid of you to say because Mursaleen is, is, a, is some no Sahaba is not Mursaleen. You are being a donkey now. So excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. A Mursaleen is somebody is sent by God, not somebody sent by man. Okay, okay, to send by God to tell what when, when God he sends somebody, give me an example about somebody he is a messenger, but he is not a prophet. Yeah, like the Jewish woman. This Jewish woman is a messenger, but she's not a prophet. God used this Jewish woman. My like friend, give me an example. Give me an example about one person. He is a messenger, but he is not a prophet in Islam. In Islam, I can take it from the Quran, where Ibrahim talks about uh, two apostles of Jesus. Mm. They were Muslim or mm. messenger. Okay, let, let us go there. Let us go there. What about those? Yeah, you can. You know the verse, Surah Ibrahim. I know what verse. I know what verse. I know what verse. I'm saying, what about them? What make them? What make them only messenger, not the prophets? Uh, because the prophet, you have to carry the divine revelation, like Torah, the Holy Quran. The prophet, they have to carry a revelation. Yeah, obviously, a law, a revelation. Okay, isn't it revelation? You are the one who just said to me. That when the woman she said to your prophet, hold on, you are the one who said to me when this woman she said to your hold on, let me talk. We cannot talk in the same time. Let us talk in this. We cannot talk in the same time. Hold on, Abdul. Hold on, Abdul. Abdul, hold on. We cannot talk in the same time. So when this woman she gave your prophet the urine story, is that revelation? You said yes. Yeah, but this is okay. not a revelation in a book. I it's, say it is a revelation. Book, you see, right? no, no, not not in a book. Muhammad he never received a book. Muhammad did he receive a book? Yeah, Quran. where when when where when we did not give him a book this is a joke where show me where it says he received a book Muhammad he received a book from his God received no not simultaneous it doesn't Over matter he did not receive a book the book you have is yeah. written long after Muhammad not even by Muhammad Muhammad never touched it and then we will find that even the book you have today recitation of Hafiz which is not even recitation of Muhammad hold on hold on Muhammad he never received a book the Quran the Quran the Quran confirmed that the Muslims are are pagans and the Christian and the Jews are people of the book no, 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 what you're saying, no. Abdul. Okay, let, us, let me show you the Quran confirmed that there is only Christians and Jews, they have a book. You Muslim don't have a book. Okay, give me the verse that says Muslims are pagans. So no can, problem. The talk, if you say that uh, we collected the book later, then you have okay. To here we go. Back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Chapter, chapter three, okay, chapter let's... three, verse number, chapter three, verse number 20. Read it. Chapter three, verse number twenty. Okay, chapter three, verse twenty. It's talking about some surrendering. What surrendering? It says the Ummi, Muhammad and his followers are Ummiyin, and we are people of the book. 
Yeah. Okay. So the Quran says that we are the only one have a book. That's why we are called. Our title is the only one. Our title, our title, our title is the people of the book. The second you say in Islam, the people of the book, it's mean Christian and Jews. It doesn't mean Muslim. So you Muslim don't have a book. We have book here, obviously. So why the Quran call us people of the book, and he mean only the Christian and the Jews? Why he don't consider you? Why? Why here it says that you are the Ummi, the illiterate? Okay. Let me answer. The mm. fact is that when this verse was revealed, Quran mm. was not compiled as a book. Whole book. Mm. That's why I said that Quran okay. revealed. Okay. Okay. When when the, when this when, when hold on hold on. What is the last verse was given to Muhammad? Uh, last verse. Surah Tauba. Or so it's over, so it's over, or so the mass of the luck. I'm not sure. Okay, what is the last verse saying? Did 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 ever the Quran, including the last verse, ever call you people of the book? Why Quran should cause me? So, or? why why the Quran call me people of the book then? Because we. The Quran is differentiation between the mushriks mm. and when you are unbelievers and mm. the pagans are unbelievers. The mm. Quran is differentiating between mm. the unbe unbelievers who carry a book. That's wonderful. So the mushrik is the one who they are not from the people of the book, correct? No, mushrik, you are a true mushrik because you do shirk. You, you just, you just say it, you just say it, you just say it. That the people of the book, uh, the Quran is differentiating between the people of the book and the mushrikeen. You, you just say that. Unbelievers. I said unbeliever. First uh -huh. I said mushrik. Uh -huh. but then I corrected the unbeliever. Ah, you corrected yourself. Okay, let me ask you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was Muhammad from the believers or was from the mushrikeen? Obviously from the believers. Believe in what? Believe in what? You just believe in monotheism. What is the, what is the proof? What is the proof? What is the what is the proof Jesus, that Muhammad he was a believer? There is one God. Sorry, there is only one God, no Trinity. No, no, no. Don't tell me. But, but, but there's another question. There's another question. What is the what is the proof that Muhammad was a believer? What is the proof? Yes, Muhammad, that Muhammad he was a believer. Believe in what and wh where it's proved to us that Muhammad he was a believer. Prophet believed in the religion of my friend. Abraham. Read for me. Read for me. Chapter 42, verse number 52. What does it say? Prophet it says, Muhammad it says believer? that Muhammad, it says Muhammad, he is not a believer and he never believed in anything. What? Muhammad never believed in any true believe belief. Him? Chapter 42, what? verse what number, verse? verse number 52. Hmm. Oh, this is talking about the past life of Muhammad. Obviously, yeah. Uh -huh. so okay, so you agree that Muhammad, before he, be, he announced himself as a prophet, he never believed in anything right, correct? Just like Abraham. Ah, okay. So, but Muhammad, he lived for 40 years as a pagan. Just like Abraham. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, just like Abraham. Are you going to repeat that? So what? So why you Muslim you say to us lie to us that Muhammad was a believer? You, you I asked you Muhammad believe in what? You said to me I asked you just a second ago Muhammad was a believer I or was not a believer? You said I he was a believer. Okay. So yeah, I never said that he was a believer in his childhood. Okay. So hold on. So you are saying to me that Muhammad was a pagan man for forty years, correct? Okay. You be disqualified, Prophet Muhammad, for being. Hold on, hold on. I'm not disqualifying him. I'm dis I'm disqualifying your lies, you Muslim, because you say to us that always Muhammad he believed in Abraham faith. I I did not say that. Okay. I did not. I can show you tons of Muslims say, saying that. So tons of Christians. Also okay. Now let let me ask you the question then. Why in Islam Jesus he is a believer from the first day of his life, but Muhammad is for forty days a okay. pagan man worshiping and kissing well, stones? Because because Jesus was the follower of the Mosaic law, the Torah. Jesus was not a new invent, like new religion, like Abraham. Abraham brought monotheism. Then okay, hold on. Is, is is Abraham religion is something new? Yeah, because the people around Abraham were all idol worshippers. That's a lie, my friend. That's a lie. That's a lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The, you are the one who said that there was a Christian and Jews there. At the time of Abraham? No, in the time of Muhammad. So this is nothing new. You know, he knew what the, the fate of Abraham is. That's 
Let me ask Obviously, you, did you, did you hear, did you hear the debate? Did you hear the debate between David Wood and, and the guy, his name Muhammad Hijab? And the Muhammad Hijab, yeah, he said, he said that for 4,000 years, for 4,000 years, not a single Jew yeah. break the command. Wait. Why he want to break a command, which is that what? It's to worship one God. Do you agree with him? No, I do not agree. Okay, so he was a donkey in that debate. No problem. Now, let me continue. As long <laughs> as long is yes, because he, he said that proving that he's a donkey. So when when you say to me that Muhammad was not a believer for 40 days, 40 years, what is the reason for him not to be a believer? You said because there is he live in a society, all of them they are mushrikeen, correct? Because Prophet Muhammad was not from Bani Israel but from Bani Ishmael. No pro no uh, problem. We, we will talk about Ishmael. How, what how what make Muhammad from Ishmael since when? When yeah, because he's from the tribe of Ishmael. What is the tribe of Ishmael? What is the sons of Ishmael? What, what is the tribe of Ishmael? This is funny, my friend. Listen, Ishmael, his father is Aramaic, correct? Yeah, okay. His mother is from where? Mother Hagar. Hey, is it what? Is it Egyptian, right? Egypt. Okay. Yeah, Egypt. How the sun is an Arab? Saudi Arab. No, no. no. How the sun is an Arab? The father is Aramaic. The son, the the, the 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 mother is Egyptian. Like you are saying to me, you married. You are you are Pakistani. You marry a Chinese woman, and your son is German. <laughs> right. So how no. how how Ishmael, the father of the Arab? The Arab is exist. According to your books. According to your books, Ishmael he learned yeah. Arabic. At the age of 11 some books they say 13 so how he can no, be the father of the Arab no, no, secondly secondly your books confirm that Ishmael he married from the tribe of Jerham Jerham no, is the is enemy not, hold on Jer not, hold yeah. on Jerham is the enemy tribe of Muhammad it's the enemy the tribe of Muhammad they kicked the tribe of Jerham from Mecca so how he Thank is how he is from how he is from from Ishmael even by even by your own logic, it's funny. Now we go back here. Muhammad was not a messenger for 40 years. Why? He was lost. He we believe in stones, he worshiped stones. Why for 40 years Allah did not guide him? That's like Abraham. You can't see the parallel between Abraham and Muhammad. So Muhammad is like Abraham, and Abraham he was worshiping idols. Joshua, book of Joshua, the last chapter of the book of my, Joshua. My friend, I'm asking you. Abraham, he was worshiping idols, right? Yeah, yeah, obviously. And because Abraham was worshiping idols, Muhammad, he can worship idols too. No, it doesn't say that Prophet Muhammad worshipped idols. No, you just said to me he was a pagan for 40 years. Oh, no, no, he was an unbeliever. He did not believe anything like that's what I'm saying. He was atheist? Khadid. He was atheist. Atheist? No, I didn't. Communist? That. Communist? Communist? Hippie. A mystery, you know, you he was hippie. No, you, you, but you, your question was just like that why he wasn't a modest lineage from Judaism or Christianity because we believe that uh, he could not be from Judaism or Christianity because at that time a lot of things were corrupted, so that's why we believe he should have. And obviously, Ishmaelite deserves a prophet. Not all that you know all came from Israel. Hmm. Okay, let me ask you. Does the Quran say before Islam that Muhammad was Hanif? What does it mean? I don't know. Huh? What does it mean? I don't Hanif. It's supposedly according to your Muslim interpretation, Hanif means someone he is following Abraham. Yeah. Okay. So how, how it says he was Hanif? But you just said to me that Muhammad yeah, he did not he was, believe for 40 years. Yeah, one of the was one of the of Abraham. Abraham was an idol version. My friend, my friend, this is not a, this is another question. This is another question. Was Muhammad Hanif before he became a prophet or he was a pagan person? No, he was not a pagan person. I do not believe that. So that. so why 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 it says that he is a Hanif? Uh, he's a Hanif. Because of his belief, not because uh, the pre static, my friend, my friend, my friend, he, uh, uh, do you know what Hanif mean? 
No, that's why I'm asking. Hanif me kafir actually. Muhammad he copied the word he do not know. Hanif me kafir. So Muhammad was a kafir. No, no, what? Why? Well, this is what he Hanif says here. Muhammad, he says Ibrahim was Hanif and, and Muhammad is Hanif and you Muslims are Hanif, but Hanif mean Kafir. How do we know Hanif means Kafir? You can go, you know, you can go and ask anyone who speaks Aramaic, they will tell you what Hanif This is coming from the Aramaic language. Abraham is Aramaic. Hanif. And the funny Muhammad he claimed that Abraham he was Hanif and, the, and he was not from the uh, Mushrikeen. So the, the, all this, yeah, it, it all that sense that yeah, Hanif word is a separation between. Okay, okay, hold uh, on, hold on. Okay, okay. In chapter sixteen, verse number one twenty three, it says that Allah he inspired Muhammad to follow Abraham, which is was Hanif. When Muhammad yeah. was inspired to follow Abraham. Uh, when he got relation. So before that he was not Hanif, correct? No. Okay. When Muhammad was a child, there's two angels and they cut his chest and they clean his chest from the guilt. But he was a pagan person and he was not worshipping God. Why? No, he was not a pagan person. So what he, he was? You see, he is a growing in a family. All of them they are pagan, correct? No, all of them were not pagan because Khadija was Khadija and his her cousin was Christian. My friend, so, Khadija is not his family. This is later after he got you know he got old, he got married. Focus with me, focus with me. His family, his family. Okay. Your wife, your wife is your wife, not your family until you marry her, right? So Muhammad, who he grew up in a family, all of them they are pagans, is that correct? Yeah, but we okay. do not have any source that Prophet Muhammad worshipped their gods. Hmm. Well, isn't it isn't it even uh, uh, okay? Is mentioned that the Arab they used to kiss the black stone before Islam. Yeah. Okay. They so, also used. Is it, uh, so isn't it, this is a ritual of the pagan to kiss a black stone, or this is something new? Prophet Abraham established this. Then the Arab. My friend, Arab did the Prophet Abraham establish kissing the stone? Yeah, and then he, he and did, the Arabs corrupted everything. Abraham. He kissed the stone. Yeah, obviously. can you show me, please? Where do you get this from? From the narrations of Hajj, narration of who? Hafs, where no, he did not, you know, a prophet Abraham did not kiss the stone. He used to, uh, a second ago, you said so. And no, no, I I made a mistake. I okay. wanted to. Okay, why your prophet kissed the stone? Uh, because uh, our prophet Abraham, he uh, standed on that stone and he built then altar. So uh, Abraham, he put his foot in the top of the stone and because of that we worship where Abraham, he put his foot? No, we are not worshiping. We are not worshiping. So why you are kissing the stone? You are, why you are kissing the stone? Act, why you are kissing the stone? Act, act of Ibadah. Huh? Act of worship. Act of worship. It's an act of worship. Thank you very much. Guys, he said again, many Muslims and they keep saying to us that that kissing the stone is an act of worship. How the kissing the stone will be a part of Islam as an act of worship, which means it's part of worship to Allah. So by kissing the stone, yeah. you are worshiping Allah, correct? Yeah. Okay. How yeah, by kissing how that. by kissing a stone I'm worshiping Allah? Unless I am a pagan who believe that the stone is going to intercede for me. Stone is not Oh yeah, stone is going to be interested if you kiss, but if you do not kiss, hmm. you won't be interested. Okay, thank you very much. Guys, did he say that the stone will intercede for you? Yeah, you know they had it there. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. But this is confirmed that you are a pagan because the second you I say that a stone will intercede for you, that means you are a pagan person because this is what paganism is about, believing that the stones they have a duty of forgiveness. They can, they can, they, by 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 act by doing an act of worship in front of a stone, the stone will help you to forgive your sin, correct? If you kiss the stone, then the stone will suck your sin. Suck your sin. That's wonderful. You know, I, I'm, I'm, this is this is a, what a sucker. So now the stone is sucking my sin. So <laughs> why why I need Allah? If the stone why suck my sin, Allah? if the stone suck my sin, I hope the stone will not suck something else. So the stone suck my <laughs> sin. 
Why I need Allah? Okay, because Allah is the source of forgiveness of the sins. But if if you, the stone does not have any power, Allah is telling you to kiss the stone. So how you will kiss the stone? That's where, where Allah he said? Allah, where Allah he said? Then, where Allah he said kiss the stone? Who prophet? Prophet Which said prophet? kiss the stone. Which prophet? prophet? Yeah, you know that hadith. I saw you in a debate uh, with the Muslim. Mm. You were quoting that hadith, mm. so you know that hadith, and mm. you also. Then I'm asking the same. You can ask the same that why you are uh, making a circle seven times. This is a, an act of worship too, mm. just like the kissing of this. Yeah, stone. but you but see, you cannot... I have no problem. I have no problem with some ritual you can do. This is not really an issue. But here we have a stone. This is paganism. We have a stone. You pray in front of a stone, you bow down in front of a stone, and you believe a stone is holy, and you kiss the stone, and the top of that you believe that the stone suck your sin, which means this stone is a living stone. No, God some you okay. Is, it, is this a stone? Is this a stone is dead, or is this a stone is dead or alive? Okay, let now if you were showing the dead and alive, then you cannot criticize because God uses the Abrahamic God uses objects to bless people. Just like stone, just like the uh, snake in the wilderness at the time of Moses, the snake was dead. But when the people of Israelites saw that snake, they were blessed. It, that was an my friend, my friend, don't mix things up. That don't mix, don't don't mix things up. Oh no 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 no. First of all, 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 none of the Jews believe that the snake is going to forgive their sin. None of the Jews believe no, in kissing snakes. Okay, so if that. if if let we us say let us say let us say hold on hold on, Jesus he curses uh, he curses a, a tree. Are we going to go and throw rocks at the tree as the Muslim they do at the house of Shaitan? This is stupid. Jesus mm -hmm. he blessed he blessed somebody he blessed uh, his uh, disciple. Does that mean they became God? Now we have a stone, and that stone you said to me when you kiss that stone, no. when you kiss that stone, is going to forgive your sin. No, the stone is not going to forgive. God is going to forgive through the stone, just like okay, through God the stone. Thank you very much, guys. Snake. Allah will forgive uh, your sin through the stone. Did you did you say that? Same as in wilderness. Snake My friend, no, 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 that no, yeah. that no, that's a metaphorical. This is not the snake does, does not does not bless anyone. God he blessed. No, there's no snake blessed. That's blessed. Yeah. And and the, and the and the and the Bible and the Bible speak of the God. snakes as as a symbolic of the devil, but it's not the sna snake itself. Don't mix things up. Now here we have a snake, or we have a stone. We have a stone which is dead, and not alive. Snoke was, Hold on. Snake was we, dead have, we have, we have, we have, we have. Okay, no problem. But we don't, we don't have a creature. Is that a creature? Is the stone is a creature? Is that, that a stone? Snake was not here. No, the, snake the stone, the stone. Is it a creature who can talk to you? Who can do something to you? Who can move around? Was it a creature? talking about you. this is just a heavenly stone and this is act of worship now this is parallel between okay them. let's let me ask you did muhammad he say that the stone is the right hand of allah oh i'm not familiar with this hadith actually. what the hadith Sorry. says from ibn abbas ibn abbas he said the black stone is oh, the right it, hand of it, allah on, from, on, on, on the ground from the huh? is it from is it from from what I mean the six book Sai Bukhari Muslim Sunan Ibn Majah. If it, uh, if, if, it, if, if, it, if it is, you are going to uh, accept it or you will refuse it if it is? If it, if it is, then I'm going to accept it. But if it is not, then. So if it's not, it. okay, so now I, I have a confirmation from you that anything is from the books of Sahih, the sixth Sahih, you accept, correct? Yeah, if it's in the chain of Sahih, not in like. No, the book of Sahih, you told me six books, the six books, right? Yeah, but yeah, 99% like, uh, okay. Mm, okay, now let, let us say that this hadith is wrong. Let us say for sake of argument, this hadith is wrong. You confirm to me that when you kiss the stone, the stone suck your sin, correct? Yeah. Okay, if the stone is not the right hand of Allah, as this hadith from Ibn Abbas says, why the stone is capable of sucking your sin? God gave power nothing to, the, to do to with the stone, stone to the stone to the stone 
nothing to do with the stone just like the snake in the wilderness you are you have to compare actually and the mm. main thing is that mm. uh, everyone does not have to kiss the stone because those who uh, will go to church to do pilgrimage they have to and this is not an obligatory that you have to kiss it. you have to kiss it. it's just uh, not for all muslims mm. okay Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Why Allah, the one who can forgive your sin without a stone, is using the stone, as you said, to forgive your sin? Just like why then why God used that, that snake if He can bless him, the Israelites? Why? He well, you have that you snake? have to read the story. You have to read the story, and you will see we cannot compare between them. They have nothing to compare. Why? Why not? Because simply, you know, this is not what happened. Here, Why here not? you have a prophet of God. Here you have a prophet of God coming and kissing a stone and claiming that this is a holy stone. There, did they come and they kiss the stone and they do an act of worship for the, for the, for the snake? Sorry. If you if you want to question, my friend, did, did, they, did they in the story do any act of worship to the snake? Yeah, there's. God said you have to see that my friend. No, 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 don't mix things up. I, I give me I give me a clear answer, please. Did they do any act of worship? I asked you, what is kissing the stone mean for you? You said it's an act of worship, correct? Yeah. Okay. That story about the snake, does it have anything to do with act of worship? Okay. If it's, it is not an act of worship, then mm -hmm. they shouldn't make that snake. An idol, the snake's idol, because mm -hmm. if he, they did not make that, then God, my friend, my friend, my friend, destroy. my friend, this is first of all, it was a miracle, it had nothing to do it's with the snake, it's yeah, have, it's have nothing to do yeah, with the snake, God. it has nothing to do with the snake, it is an act of miraculous by God, and it's not an act that's of worship, it's a proof that God can do. They challenge him, they yeah, ask, they ask, they ask him, they ask him, can you do that, can you do this, and he did. Here we have a prophet who claimed to be a prophet why of God, God who believe. Hold on, God, hold on. We have a, we have a person. I, we have a person. No, God. God. Uh, as an example, when Musa is, when 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 Musa is, he made made his snake uh, his stick became a snake. He was not doing an act of worship. He was showing the power of his God. Why? Why God may? Why God uh, commanded to make his stone my snake like icon? Why? My friend. Because, because this is how he can prove the miracle. Why we he can't do this, my friend? No, he want to show. You know when I show you. Okay, here we go. We have a dead man. Make make him. Hold on, hold on. We have a dead man. Can you make him alive? So we make him alive. We have a. Isn't it your God in the Quran says that the people they ask the people of Saleh they ask him to make a rock, give a birth to a camel. You have to believe this type of. Story. My friend, I'm asking you. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Isn't it the, the people they ask, the, the, the guy who you call him Saleh, we do not know who is Saleh and Prophet Saleh, they ask him, can you make a rock give birth to a camel and the camel is a Britain with 10 month old camel? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. So people they ask and they make a challenge, can you what you can, what your God can do? But here we have a stone which you said it's not done to do miraculous work to prove anything because nobody can prove, yeah. nobody can yeah. prove, not, yeah. oh, hold on. Nobody can prove anything of what you said to me that when we kiss the black stone, the stone will suck our sin. Can you prove it? And can you prove that that snake that snake that Moses built had blessing power that people when people gonna saw that my friend they were blessed. My friend, my friend, my friend, the blessing is the miracle, is not the snake. It is what he that's does. It is it is what it's it is what he sucking, does. My friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on. It's it is not it's not the snake blessing them. There's no snake bless anyone. When they, yeah, they, that's why I'm, they got the blessing of seeing they it's hold on, no, 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 no. Then. I am a blessed by seeing a miracle of Jesus. I see in the miracle, which means I, I any miracle. Hold on. No, no, it doesn't mean I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying let's say I was in, in the time of Jesus, I saw him doing a miracle. This is a blessing for me. I was lucky. So the one who they are blessed by seeing a miracle, they are not saying that that thing which happened there is an act of worship. 
it's an act of miraculous here we have a stone this is stone when you kiss it is going to suck your sin and you are the one who confirmed that to me it is not Allah sucking your sin it is the stone and when not only that it, not only that you Muslims believe that, that the stone the stone was white that, that my, my friend act of worship my, my we mean that we are worshiping God or we are praising God okay but by but, you, but you as a Muslim you worship God by kissing stones That's the same thing. Okay, then if you do not accept this as act of worship, then what hap what would happen if Moses did not build the snakes? My friend, did, did he order them to kiss the stones and he uh, the, the snake and he told them when he kissed the snake, Allah will uh, uh, God, hold on. He ordered hold, hold he on order to look at them. Look I at it, look at it. Yes, and I will show you what my God can do. Look at it. Satanic idol. No, my friend, my friend, hold, hold on. Let, let me ask you: is, is idol is idol is, is haram in Islam? What type of idol you're talking? It doesn't about. matter. Right. Idol is idol because here, when you say idol, it's mean they worship it. The second you say idol, it's something you worship. Yes or no? No, it's haram. Huh? Yeah, this haram. Okay. So, is this a stone an idol or not? Oh, this stone is not idol. so what it is just a stone so why the stone can forgive your sin stone can't forgive me. read with me Prophet. carefully your prophet is saying clearly that whoever touched that black stone and the Yemeni corner it erased his sin I, yeah okay just by touching it erase. okay the stone erased yeah, your sin the stone the stone a, erased your sin and you are the one who said to me when you kiss it it's it suck your sin miracle of god. this is the miracle of god Okay, let me ask you now. As long as you are saying it's a miraculous of God, miracles of God, they are exist to prove themselves, not to be stay and seen. As an example, when I say that Jesus he resurrected somebody from the grave, if nobody saw that, I mean, what the point? Right? He have to prove it. When I say that Jesus, uh, 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 he healed the, the he, if Jesus says to me, I did heal the blind man, but nobody saw any blind man was healed. Okay, okay now show me. What is the proof that this black stone was white, became a black because it used to suck your sin? And, and, and add to that, you have a guy, his name is Umar al-Khattab. He got you, you and your prophet busted because Umar al-Khattab, he said, I know that this stone is useless and harmless. Is that correct? Yeah, he, I, yeah I know that. Okay, so when he said, I know that you are useless and harmless, he was wrong or he was saying the truth? Wrong. He was wrong. Yeah. Guys, did you hear this? Umar was wrong, obviously. Omar he got Muhammad busted. This is why now you are saying he was wrong. So that the same way Peter was wrong when my, he my, was arguing. My God. friend, my friend, no, hold on, hold on. You see, Peter he's speaking to God. My friend, my friend, Galatians when we speak, when you speak to the Messiah, the Messiah is our Lord. So all of us we are wrong when we talk in front of him. None of us can claim to be right in his presence. None of us. The Messiah, the Messiah, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You are you are the one who mentioned Peter, right? Why Muhammad did not rebook Omar and he says to you, he says to him. Why why you are saying it's useless when I say it is it is it is used Why you say that it is harmless when I say it can harm Why he did not rebook him? I will tell you why because Muhammad was a coward. He didn't dare to rebook Omar Maybe he waited that he could what he waited the guy he said it clearly that this stone is useless and you just said to me that and you just said to me you just said to me this is an act of worship that which means this is a major act of worship in Islam when you go to the Kaaba to kiss the black stone because it's going to suck your sin so when when Omar he say that this is a useless stone Omar he is simply simply saying Muhammad is a liar why Muhammad did not rebuke him and says to him shame on you to say that correct him as Jesus he correct anyone around him Jesus corrected everyone. Yes, everybody. Everybody. Peter, everybody. He corrected people around him, left and right. The Jews, the Pharisees, everybody. He was debating with them and he was approving even those who follow him. That Jesus they are wrong. Correct, Jesus did not correct Judas. My friend, what Judas? My, you are talking about the one who betrayed him, right? Yeah, Jesus. Okay, is, isn't it him who told him that, that, that he told him that you will do this to me? 
No. He's a what do you mean? Didn't he, didn't he predict? Didn't, he's he, didn't he predict? He's a state you, didn't didn't you he predict? Seen. Didn't he predict that you, you, a person in front of us here with us? He is the first Listen. one who would do this act. He is yeah, the first yeah. one to give me up. He's predicting. He's predicting. He's my not friend, my friend, because he knew what he would do. He knew what kind of a person he is. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Now, now listen, listen, listen. Don't you, you keep changing the topic? I, listen. No, Jesus, he corrected that. everybody. As an example, the Jews. This he said to the Jews, "What do you say of the Messiah?" They said, "He is the he, he is the son of David." Why? He is the son of David. Okay, those are rabbis. He said to them, "How he is the rab How he is the son of David?" But yet, David, he called him my Lord in the spirit. So Jesus correct everybody. Even the Bible speak about Jesus when he was he going to the synagogue when he was just young. He was speaking to the rabbi and debating them. So yes, he was correcting everybody. Here you have a your prophet, and you have a you have a major companion. He, he, you have a major companion. Hold on, you have a major companion. His name is Omar Khattab. Getting your prophet busted and getting all the Muslim busted. That they are nothing but pagans doing an act oh, of paganism. He just, he just made a mistake, simple mistake. Where just is the like correction for the mistake? Let us say I'm going with you, no problem. If if Omar like he did the mistake, if Omar did the mistake, why none of the Muslims corrected him? Maybe Muslims, obviously, because Prophet uh, waited him to be repented after he died. Ah, died. he was waiting for repentance. So he was waiting for Omar to mislead them and misguide them and say to them something wrong. But, but Muhammad didn't dare to speak about it. And that's it. Do you see? Do you see Omar. how dangerous what you are saying? You are saying that the act of worship, which you call the kissing of the stone, Omar is saying it is not an act of worship. And Muhammad, yeah. he don't dare, and he don't, you know, he was waiting for Omar to repent. So why he is a prophet yeah, of God? He came to warn people like, about wrong or right. Like Jesus, just like Jesus and Judas, Jesus did not rebuke him, corrected him. Jesus just Co corrected him in what? Corrected him on what? Yes, do not, do not. <laughs> My friend, we have. We, th this is an act he will do, nothing to correct him with, because he will betray him. That's it. He knew who's he. Correct him about yeah, what? So no, no, no. You see, you are, you, are fab you are fabricating things now have nothing to do with our topic. This is a guy oh, getting your prophet busted, and this is a stone. And everybody who believe, have a little brain, he, he should believe that this stone cannot really be the one who suck your sin. Well, let you, me ask you, let you me ask you. Did your prophet, did, 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 your, did, your, you prophet did your prophet say that the black stone was white and became black? Moses also said my, that my, the snake my, can... My, if you look at that snake, that my snake friend, my there. friend, yes, Moses, he yes. said, look at the snake, look at the snake, proving the power of God, right. not the snake, not the Why snake. God uses an, oh, a satanic. Uh, Jesus said, let me give you an example. Jesus said, look, if you believe in a rock, you will be recovered. It's about faith. This is this is a metaphorical of faith. How much faith you have, how much you can be recovered. Yes. It's that's faith. The, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, here is not about that's, faith. Here, he's about an act of worship that this is stone by kissing it is going to suck literally your sin. Is not having faith in a stone. When Jesus says, if you have a faith in the stone, is he asking us to worship a stone? Is he talking about a stone? No, it's a metaphorical of faith. So if you have faith, your faith will recover you. If you have faith, your belief will help you. Now, here we have, Muslim, we have Muslims, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have Muslims who believe that a stone will suck their sin, not faith in a stone. The suck, lit, the stone literally will suck. Not faith, faith in Allah that he will. But who is going to suck your sin? Is it the stone or Allah? Just like a snake on the wilderness. The, no, this is a lie. It doesn't say it's going to suck anything. Don't, stop lying. You are being a liar. You do not have to be the simple explicit term. My friend, no, it yeah. have to be. It have to be. It have to say that. It have to be there. You are the one who said to me by kissing the stone, it suck your sin. So how you can compare it yeah. to that snake? You're stuck with that snake because you have no refugee. And here Omar al Khattab is getting your prophet busted. You Muslims are nothing but pagans, kissing stones, worshiping stones, doing it as an act of worship to God. How you yeah, can do yeah. an act of worship to God? How you can do an act of worship to God by kissing a stone? And why the stone was white and became a black? Since when black is the color of sin, which transform from very white to very black because it's sucking sin. 
that's okay. mean that's mean you believe that the stone is a living creature okay then if you have a if you have problem that god cannot use a stone to um, to provide his uh, forgiveness first or, of all uh, abdul first cannot... of all abdul first of all you never provide me anywhere where it says that your god he said to you to kiss the stone can you prophet said so no no where 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 your prophet say that can you show me where your prophet say that god told me to kiss the stone you do not we believe the secondary revelation what my friend said, my friend don't don't play games where your prophet said that my god told me that we should kill this kiss the stone prophet you just quote it is in your uh, you just quoted from the hadith you literally gave the hadith that thank you very much that, that, the hadith is saying what say it say it that the, the stone can erase sins if you kiss okay the, okay hold on and what about the hadith Muhammad said that the stone is the right hand of Allah? Is it? It is not from Sihah Sitta. It's not from what? Sihah Sitta. You are quoting Ibn Abbas. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, the stone erase your sin. Yeah. But it's not the right no, hand so of Allah. Stone, stone doesn't erase the Allah no my friend it does erase no it does erase read with me carefully Muhammad he did not mention anything about Allah will erase Muhammad he said it clearly my friend my friend my friend here we read with me read with me read with me hadith please I, I'm not adding words I am not taking off words this is your Muslim translation in front of you it was narrated from Abdullah ibn Ubaid it says oh Abu Abdul Rahman why do I only see you touching these two corners which mean the corner of the black stone and the yemeni corner he said i heard the messenger of allah say touch them erases sin where is allah okay then if you want to take this literally that word for word you cannot take it out of context or whatever but you are my friend my friend you tell me is it this is literally or not we said touch them is touch them is something physical Okay, then if you see this as a contradiction where I say that Allah erases things not that stone but you're saying no problem the you are the one who said to me you are my friend you are the one who said to me if you remember all right that the black stone suck your sin did you say that but I did not say that this is the power of the stone no problem no problem okay okay no problem but you are the one who said the stone itself not Allah is the one who suck your sin which means the one who clean the one who cleans you what suck mean isn't it cleansing him from sin yeah okay so who is the one who is the one who do the act of a cleansing who is the one who's doing the act of a cleansing you said to me you said to me that the stone is going to suck your sin which means the act of a cleansing of sin is done by the stone from Allah power from Allah no problem so Allah Allah he put a vacuum machine in the ground it's called the black stone and if you if you if you touch it or kiss it the black stone will suck your sin is that your understanding you can walk like that but black stone will how black stone will suck you sin like how why god is using a stone i repeated the same story in the wilderness of moses why that's god false used that's false that. that's false my friend that's false that's false i repeated to you and i told you what jesus even said if you have a faith in a stone you will be recovered so he, he's not asking us to worship a, a stone or to, to kiss a stone. There's no kissing. There's no touching. You know, if you have faith in God, he will go. I'm going to show you the miracle. The same as he did to the, to the Egyptian about what he can do with, with, with his stake. Don't compare. Be honest. Here you are saying that the stone, you kiss it, it suck your sin automatically. You have, you have to enlighten our tradition with the judeo christian tradition because you can't say that god can't use a stone or the thing because in exodus chapter 25 you can see the altar is building then the cherubim the two stone of two statue of angels jews that god commanded <laughs> so this type of things are, and they worship and they worship and idols right and they were worshiping stones and worshiping idols right according according to your logic no you logic. see no this is my logic. this is your line now you are your line and when 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 Omar Omar Khattab he got you busted. Ow. Okay, now let me ask you. The stone was white. Let's let's focus on this one. The stone was white. Why it turned black? For sins. Why? From sin. For sin. 
So yeah. you are you you, you as a Muslim saying you believe that a person if he have no sin should be white, a person he have he became a black is sin make him black. Sin make not a person black if stone sin make that stone black. Book well, what a different. I mean, uh, what what make what what make the color black come to exist in the stone? It is the sin, correct? Yeah. Okay. Why? Why the sin make it black? Uh, because it make black. Because black, uh, in an black in an I mean eternal sense, represent evil. Just like you quoted the hadith, uh, there will be angels will be black mm. at grave. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm. But sin, but but uh, but here the the stone is transforming color. Does that mean it's getting dirty? Yeah. yeah. Getting dirty. Okay. So sin is something physical. Make you dirty physically. Not a person in case. This is the miracle. You need the you. Are, that was a white stone that became okay. a black stone. That is the white. Is there is any proof that the the stone was white? And it became a black, or this is just a fiction, stupid story. Uh, is there any proof that Moses split the Red Sea? Yeah, there's witnesses. There's even books of history speak about it. Even the Sabian who hate the Jews to death, they speak about that and they confirm it. No, no. What? No, no, no. You know. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. What? Where Muhammad he got this story? Isn't it? This is a pagan story. Exists before Muhammad, and Muhammad he do just the same as every pagan Arab does, kissing the stone. Believe in a stone. Let me ask you: Why the stone look like in the shape of a vagina? Oh, okay. This one is okay. Now we believe that God sent many prophets. Hmm. What so prophets? We believe that okay. And many prophets. You like? Uh, I heard one million in a hadith. Hmm. Four major prophets with hmm. four books, hmm. but many prophets. So uh, we believe that some truths are hidden in Hinduism. Okay, mm. Mm. so we may be the, this is a, just an ordinary interpretation that Hindus believe uh, the God created uh, God is a male figure like penis. Hindus worship a penis of mm. Shiva. So why you are taking why you are taking me there? I'm asking a specific question. Why you are taking me to talk about the Hindus and the Buddhas? You know, I mean. By the way, your prophet is, so sound like you are convinced that your prophet he is taking the black stone from the Hindus, right? Is that the is that the penis? No, of, is, 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 no I am asking yeah, yeah, you. I'm asking vagina. you. I'm asking you why the black stone look in the shape of a vagina? Because this is from one type of revelation that uh, people before us, Jews, Christian, Muslims, or Zoroastrians, hmm. they believe. That God, the universe had a sex between the Shivalinga and the universe. Uni, uni, from uni, the word uni to joni. Joni in the Sanskrit and Bangla, but in English it's vagina. So this is type of thing. Like Let me ask you: is it, is it true? Is it true that the Arab before Islam, women they used to go, and men, and they used to place their their hand over their vagina? And they touched the black stone, and this is why it became black. No, I am not familiar about that. What if this is true? If this is true, we don't care because Prophet purified this whole thing. No, you see, you said to me, you said to me that the black stone became black because of sin, correct? Yeah, because okay. of the people. But the books, the, the the Muslim books confirm different story. Read with me carefully. It says, "This is the story about uh, uh, Adam." I don't know if somebody can find it for us in uh, in English. Uh, Allah, He told Adam, "I send down to you what you can go around as the same as you go around my throne." So Adam, he went down to India, and here we notice the connection between the Hindu. Hinduism and Islam Muslim believe that Adam was Indian. He came in India literally 
So he was in, in not in, India, but in Nepal. No. Yeah, in Indian region. It's we India, India, in India. India. This what it says in the front yeah. of me. It says Al Hind. So I go by what what the text says. Okay, 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 no problem. So he went there walking, and then the angels were waiting for him. And the angels they said to him, uh, uh, "Blessed is your pilgrimage, uh, Adam. We did visit this house before you two thousand years before you, and Adam he did." Visit the Kaaba, do Hajj, forty time, or every time he go from the land of India all the way to Mecca on his feet. You said he was from Nepal, right? Uh, Nepal, Al India, on that region. Okay, is it possible? No is it possible to go? Nepal. Is it possible to go from there by feet from Nepal? Uh, I will let I it go. Let it go. Think about it. Go and look at the map, and then he says. And he st he keep doing that until Allah he took him in the day of the Tufan, which means the day of Noah, the flood of Noah, to the fourth heaven. And he was kept on the Baytul Ma'mur, the house which was built by Allah. Then Allah, okay, uh, he ordered Ibrahim to build this house. Yeah. And then Jabriel. He taught Abraham the, the, the location of the place because the flood of Noah destroyed everything. Yeah. And then it says that Allah, he sent a cloud, kept him in shade. And uh, uh, and this and the shade of this cloud never increase, never decrease. Very weird. A miracle, a miracle. And then it says, yeah. let us continue here. <clears throat> and Gabriel, he came with the black stone from the sky and it says that the the mountain of abu Qubais, which is the mountain next to mecca was holding the black stone and give it delivery which means during uh, it says here so the the mount of bani Qubais, which is a very close mountain to the kaaba swallow the black stone and hide it until the flood is gone and then deliver it again like a woman delivering a baby and it was وَكَانَ يَقُوتَةً بَيْضَاءً مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ And it was a pearl, a pearl from heaven. Pearl, not a stone. But yeah. when, look what it says. فَلَمَّا لَمَسَتْهُ الْحَيْضُ فِي الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ السُّوَدِ When the blood of women from Hayd, from menses, in, in the Jahiliya, touch it, it became black. Your comment. Comment that that was also a sin. It's but it says Christian, here, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why the women blood from their vagina is in the stone? What is the practice yeah, they are practicing? What is the practice? This is a pagan practice. They corrupted it. Okay, what is the practice there? And you see, the women, you said to me that the sin make it black, correct? Yeah, this is a okay. Sin. What what is the sin we are talking about? Is the women of blood from period? Yeah. Okay. You believe in that? I do not believe that the period is a sin. So why the period of women make it black? Because uh, she was in unclean level. You know from the Bible also that mm. talks about menstruation no, I mean, okay this is this is a different story have... this is a this is an this is a stone allah he sent and he made it white like it's actually it's, it says a pearl literally a pearl it's not a stone and and women the, the question here my friend listen carefully i give you a lot of time there's people trying to call and i'm i'm not giving them time to talk listen women they touch their private part when they have blood and they put their hand in the black stone why Because it's a pagan practice. It's a pagan practice. Thank you very much. Is that because they believe that this stone is going to fertilize their vagina? Maybe. Okay. Thank because you very much, guys. Did you hear it? Did you, did you hear it? Did you hear it? The black stone. When, you, when if you are a woman, you, you when I get to Bretnet, you go to the Kaaba when you have your period. You put your hand over your vagina. Obviously. They and were pagans and, and they you, believe the, the blood in your on. hand, and then you put it in the black stone, and that will make you fertilize. This is exactly what I'm saying to you, my friend. I just to prove it to you from your books that the Arab and you Muslims are no different. 
you believe in the god of fertility the black stone is the fertilizer this mm -hmm. is this is a stone this is a stone it's, this is why this, this is why it have a shape of a vagina this is why the stone i ask you why the stone have a shape of a vagina you could not answer correct do you well, know why i answered my no no i'm saying to you why why it has a shape of a vagina do you have an answer yeah i i agree with you that uh, yeah this is a shape of vagina mm. right. why because uh, in vedic theology in the vedas it talks about the male part of god had sex with the female part of okay so god. so in is in, in somehow you are agreeing that muhammad obviously is copying from the hindu something have to do with the hindu that's why i say that uh, we some truths are lined in the hinduism Putin. okay some truth line in yeah. the hinduism so you agree that this black stone is the, is a is a fertility stone uh yeah okay thank you very much well i'm done with you my friend yeah, thank, why, thank, why, thank you for calling that? thank you for calling that's it what the heck is that Ha 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 